Hi there and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me today. So the last video you saw we made, well we started making uh, some embellishments and I'm using my new kit which is called uh, Vintage Blue. So um, I've done a flip through of the kits and the kit is available uh, on Patreon to purchase and it will be on Etsy um, at the beginning of January. So I'm back again to do a few more um, embellishments. Sorry, I don't know where I got to. Uh, the door went. Um, so I'm back again to do some more embellishments. So I've sorted the things out that I've uh, still got to, to use up. And last time we did some like streamer type things. So I thought I'd make a bigger one which I could use uh, on the cover. So I've got one of these uh, applique type things, lace appliques. I've got the butterfly one and the flower one. So I think I'm going to do the flower one. And I bought these beads by uh, mistake. They're not flat back ones. So I thought that would be... Uh, perfect to use them up just thinking how long I want it I'd rather do it <coughs> longer than than shorter so I'll just cut those off so let's see what I've got what I could use I found some string this is you know string that comes wrapped <coughs> around things what you I don't know buy um, so I'm going to use this I have got a ball of string but I thought I'd got some little bits and bobs so I thought I'd get those um, used so I do do that I'll probably put two of those in so I suppose it's a little bit like making a, a tassel um, which I have got a couple of videos on which I think you can find in fabric embellishments put them towards the, the back um, I don't know if these will be long enough but these are you know when you've got obviously it's Christmas um, these came with gift tags I used something something else so I mean I don't have to bend it um, you know twice over I suppose I could attach it on there so if I get a couple a couple of those out I'm thinking I'll just get three out again it uses these things up um, I think I ended up using string or ribbon I can't I can't remember but I can't often uh, be bothered with with the oh that was just like a plaster the things that they you know put give you or it might have come with some baubles um because you often get them with those so that's that what else have we got I've got some um a finger wool and then we'll put some some blues into it I'll leave it the white colour. I didn't um, dye any seam binding. Uh, not seam binding. Um, well, I wonder if it's... Yeah. No, that'll be way too long. Let's cut it in half so I don't waste any. Okay, it's all very beige. I might do both. Because um, I've obviously cut quite, quite a bit off. So yeah, any you know little strips of things that you've got, you can obviously put bits of uh, material in if you wanted, like the linen type stuff, cotton um, type stuff. I don't think I'll use that bit of string. It's a little bit too, too small. Um, didn't I have that in thin? 
Maybe I'll put it. Maybe I'll put it away. I don't know why I would have put it away. Hmm. What did I do with the rest of the print stuff? Maybe I've used it. Who knows? Right, I've got some <coughs> lace here. So this is just cheap uh, lace. Some of that in. Um, I really do want some blue uh, ribbon, so I will put some of this in. Could perhaps put this towards towards the back. Okay. So perhaps if I did this one right, right at the at the back. So let me get that fabric tuck out. Let me. Bring the camera down slightly because I'm really off screen. So yeah, any bits of lace, ribbon, string, fibres. This is obviously way too, too long, but that's fine. So that's going to be my back one. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's going to be lovely. Um, I'm going to get these gold ones stuck on at the back of here. So let's put a dab of glue there. And just stick those on. Got another one here. Could have really done with a circle of card and then I could have glued... The back of the card and and then pressed it pressed it on that would have attached it a lot nicer so that will, i think it will learn to learn to lay down so that's that um <coughs> let's put one of the strings on yeah, I think I'm going to get in a in a bit of a mess. <laughs> so I'll put both of them, both of them on. Yeah, again, I think a disc of uh, paper would have been good to attach attach them on. But it's only really to hold them in place because obviously I'm going to cover, totally cover the back of the flower with glue, and um, hopefully that will, that will hold it, hold it on. Um, let's get some of that. Oops, sorry. You might want to use something pokey if you don't want to get your fingers wet. So yeah, you do need something quite thick. Um, to lay it all on. Unless you built it from small uh, to large on the back of your um, whatever you're going to have at the top. So I'll have that one there. And then I think I'll have that one there. Oh, that's pretty. So let's put a bit more a dobby of glue on that. So yes, I shall incorporate this on the cover. Or you could stick it onto your spine, a little bit like a um, spine dangle, but just glue it um, onto the top of the spine. That would look very pretty. So that's that. What else do we want in? Let's get some some of the blue in. Yep. Yep. Lovely. Right, let's see if I can get those beads stuck down oh yeah oh that's lovely <laughs> I 
Right, so I don't know if to just try and stick that on. Just moving them around to where I want them. Do that as a single um, one. So just stick that there, like so. Oh yeah, nice. And obviously you can have it as thin or as as chunky as as you want. But yeah, the more um, I'm doing this, the more I'm thinking it would look nice on on the spine. Okay, so that's that's enough. Um, <laughs> stay, just stay there. So I'm going to get my um, punch and the biggest one I've got. Well, I've got a one and a half, which should do it. I could really do with something quite stiff. Um, so I've got any packaging. Have I got any packaging, Mark? What a question, but I've got any packaging I want to actually use. <laughs> and that is more like it. Oh, that shows this is pretty, pretty thick. Oof. Come on. I need to open it down so that would help. Okay, and then I'm gonna really press that that down. So let's just peel anything off what's hanging and I'm gonna totally cover this with glue. and get all around those edges and oop, I don't want a bit of paper on it do I? Just press that down and hold it and then like I say you can trim this as as you, as you want oh, I love it look at that <laughs> but yeah I think that will look lovely uh, down down the spine. I'm just gonna, oh, sorry, I'm just going to hold it in front of my face a minute. Yeah, that's it. So that is that, and then once I've put it on, I can um, make it, you know, smaller if if I wanted. So I'm just going to put that to the side to um, dry. So yeah, you do need quite a few um, tassels to make it if you wanted it chunky, but if you wanted it, um, you know, not as chunky. I don't know why I've got those scissors out. Let's get the tail scissors out. And if you can do those nice um, ends to your ribbons, I'm not very good at that. So, okay, like that. Uh, what else shall we put? Let's put some of the some of the navy. Hot 
glue obviously would be brilliant. I do have a hot glue thing, but I always forget to to get it on. <laughs> it's not until I'm doing something and I think, oh yes, hot glue would have been perfect. Okay, and then I think we'll want some. Let's put some of the um, this stuff like so. Have we used all the? Oh, I think I used all those normal beads, which is lovely. So I can use the rest of them in, in tags. some string in it because that's not as bulky I don't feel like I, I need to have the circle of card um, <clears throat> in there it definitely needs a bit a bit more doesn't it but I can add I can add to to the back of it and then I might need uh, the card it's got a bit more of a wall so my piles are going down now with the lace and things that I've got sorted out and so I didn't bother putting putting them away I thought I'll just work my way my way through them that's like that um, do I want any of the lace Oh, do I want some material? Let's just try the the material. I'm just gonna do it oh, thin. Obviously you could dye this, you could stamp it. Yeah. Definitely will need another card circle. And it'll give it something to, to hold on to when you're sticking it to to whatever you're attaching it to. It's um, dog walls. I say this dog's going for walks, and everybody seems to be to be barking. So yeah, you could definitely play with that with that idea. So I'll just cut that bit off at the top, and that is that one. So that's those two. Um, I need some ribbon which will fit through here so let's have a look at that oh, do. ah this is nice let's just poke that through and get rid of that so that would be nice down the edge of a page or something look how pretty that is okay and I feel like I want to attach that to something so it's not as 
was flimsy. Um, what have I got? I've got, well, I could put it on some lace, but I don't think I want that one. Oh, hold on. Ooh, yeah, I do like that. I don't know if to do it as long as a page or not. I might just do it shorter. So let's cut that off about there. So I've got three, so we can do three different ones. And I'm trying to get the end. Like so, which is the right way. Hmm. Locks the same each way. We'll go for, we'll go for that way. And yeah, so I'm going to stick that onto there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but yeah, it's lovely. And if I want it shorter, obviously I can cut it down after. So let's dab some glue across here to secure that. Da -da -da. I'll have to look for that other, that other patch of blue uh, ribbon. Surely I didn't use it yesterday. Well, f Sunday when you saw, saw the video. Right, oops. Let's just place that on there. That there. Okay. If I just leave a little bit of cream at the side, that will be done nice down the side of it and bloke. That is very, very pretty. So that's that one. We've got a bit of glue there. Let's see if we can get that off why it's why it's wet. Give it a good a good rub. That's it. Lovely. Okay, so that's another. Um, <clears throat> that one's going to be too too thick, I think, to to go through. But it might look nice. So let's just have a look. Pull that through. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh wow. So let's cut cut that. Yeah, I love that it's too too wide for it. Probably need it to be laying flat, so I'm just gonna twist twist that round. Reminds me of um, something you'd wear wear around your neck. Beautiful. Right, we could keep that like that or we could stick it onto something just to make make more of it. No, I'm not, not feeling that one. Now, we did save this. Well, I did for, <coughs> I thought it would make a nice um, pocket. Oh, look at that. Well, it could go that way. No, it looks better. Better that way. I still think it needs um, something. No, the dark doesn't, doesn't look right. We'll have to go with the same, same one again. I've got a bit of... That's not going to be thick. Oh, it might be just, you know, just to get that frayed... Frayed edge. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I've <laughs> got this bit, which is. Oh, that's pretty. It's obviously too thick if I was putting it on there, but um, let's have a look at it on, on here. If I can find, find the end again. It's upside down, but no. So I'm gonna just leave that as it as it is. 
um because i can definitely just just add it onto onto a pocket so that's that one so you're best to have a look in all your tubs and stuff you know all these bits of metals you've bought and <coughs> things like that um and see see what you've got and you know you can make all different um embellishments so let's do this one with the cream that'll probably look nice on the on the blue so i think i got these from ebay um and i think i think they call them like per per buckles pearl but buckles gosh can't speak so that's that one probably wants being quite a bit shorter yeah i think it's actually nicer <clears throat> in the thicker where's that blue lace so i'll put it on on here bit non nondescript really let's have a look at it on this one yeah that's nice it's a little bit thick isn't it I mean I could put something and then that on top or I try and cut it cut it in half I know I tried to rip this um last time and it wasn't wasn't very good at ripping so let's cut that down and get the right length so I've only got to to go as far as I need okay I should have really cut one side thicker and one side thinner. I think that's what I'm doing actually. <laughs> I should have. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. Then this bit that I'm cutting off would have been perfect for for those uh, streamer things. Right. Let's um gonna use my nail just to get some of that fraying so it's not such a blunt a blunt edge that's it let's have a look yeah that's lovely so I'll just dab some glue down this middle And then in the next video, <coughs> we'll get some ephemera out and decorate with the embellishments that we've made so far. So we can see how we're gonna gonna use them, and then see see what we're kind of missing. So let's cut that off. We'll do that straight. Ish. <laughs> really pretty okay so that's used use those up right what else have we got on i must get another little pot to keep putting these bits in because i end up putting them in you know the main bags um and then they never get get used but i, I need another jar right i'm feeling that these buttons are probably going to be um more for on the cover because they're quite chunky so i'm just going to put those in the embellishment part as as they are um so put those over there i have got a tub now so i've put that lace in because you know that's already um decorated and same same with that um, I'm not going to add anything uh, to that. And then there's the ones that we made 
the other day. <laughs> so bear in there, it doesn't look anything, does it? <laughs> right, so we've got these two. Uh, we've got some white seals which we haven't obviously used yet. Um, got a couple of those still left. I mean, you know, we could literally just stick a bow on the photo, um, and it doesn't have to be um, any more than any more than that. Just throw, throw a bit of this. Just do something like that, ink around it, and you know, then we've got an embellishment. Okay, I'm back, and um, the week has, has gone, um, and I've only just managed <coughs> to get back to finish this video. I laid these out oh, probably the day that I filmed the first half and kind of forgotten what, what I'm doing. So, <clears throat> I wanted to use the rest of uh, these photos up. I have put these up as a freebie and I think I put them up on my Patreon. So, all I've done is uh, ink them and then I put uh, some gilding. Is it gilding? Gilding polish and this is in chocolate bronze. So, I did that and then these two little ones I've backed it with some uh, packaging to make it a lot thicker and I've done done the same sorry about that <coughs> the shadow okay <coughs> so we'll just put those two to one side so all I was thinking is just adding something uh, to these photos just say so the little uh, page embellishments and I've got a few of the the bits um, what was from my desk so we'll just pair them up with with what what we think so we've got the blue bow that looks pretty on there I don't think it will on there it's pretty on her too I think that goes better with the lighter ones So I think I'll go for the for the first one. We've got the beige bow, which probably will look better on one of these dark ones. I think I like it on that one. And um, we've got one of the flowers from the cat. That's pretty. Ooh, it looks nice on the dark or the or the light. I don't so much like it on that one. I think I like it on that dark one. Um, butterflies. Do something like so. And I've got two little appliques which I've just put one on top of the other. Have something like that, <clears throat> and there may be the button on that one. So let's have a look how we get on. Um, I have bought another jar which I said that I was going to do to start keeping my little bits in <clears throat> as I find them because I've got bits everywhere. Um, I shall keep dropping them in there. some glue I'll use that two in one then maybe I'll just pop the that at the back like so yeah I like that or do we want some other no oops oh, no blue blue no we'll go with the Yeah, I've not opened 
this obviously for nearly a week as well. I don't know where this week's gone. Obviously we're on the run up um, to Christmas. So yeah, finding time it um, does seem to be a bit difficult. And, you know, got a lot of life things going off in the background as well. So yeah, just finding time and space. Um, that seems to be a bit of a challenge at the minute. But we're getting there. Okay. So we could add to this um, when we come to use it. Obviously we could layer it on some papers or some lace or material. Or, you know, we could just pop it um, down like that. Either on the page or um, on something else. In tomorrow's video we're going to use these pieces. Um, so, you know, we can then look at how we'd use them and, and stuff. So, I'm wondering if this bit of blue would look nice. I wonder if it'd be better on that side. Yeah, I like that. That's, um, Am I in? <coughs> Sorry, I've got my um, camera in a strange angle. When I say we're still um, doing decorating jobs and, and things, um, and everything just keeps like getting thrown into this room and then, you know, moved and um, all the Christmas decoration empty boxes ended up all in here till, you know, we put them away properly and it's just been like that <laughs> you know just really simple things but yeah just things that are just you know getting getting in the way just hold that down a second so it states which it doesn't seem to want to but if I just pop it over there, it will. Yeah, like those. I do prefer it when I've put the cotton through the holes. <coughs> but for today, it's fine. Now, let's make us mind if these butterflies look better on this one. bigger one needs to go at the top. I like that one there. Let's pop that down. I have inked around um, these. And say so I did sit um, later that, that day when I did the first one and kind of got myself, well, saw what I'd still got left to use and, and kind of got myself prepped and then I don't, I don't know what happened. Seems to be, you know, phone ringing, somebody at the door. That kind of stuff. So, that's that one. It's really simple. So, where are we going to put? I can't find my little um, flat back pearls. So... Oh, because I was going to put a pearl, pearl on that. Do we want? Yeah, I like that. Just draped across there. Side, that's a bit more um, tea stained than the other side so yeah perfect for just using your little your little bits up obviously you don't have to use photos any you know small bits of um, ephemera like little adverts and things like that you can 
and just add add a bit of something just to just for a bit of interest. Okay, so that's that one, <coughs> and we'll have the flower. Do we want it on this side? Let's do that. I'm not going to put anything um, behind that one. There we go. And this one, I think I like it off like that. Is that too? Yeah. So that's those done. It will stick eventually. Ooh, I've got six of them. Yeah. And then I've got um, some of those wax seals and I've got that lovely piece of lace. So I thought I'm going to keep that whole and pop that in the middle so again you know belly band type thing or page um <coughs> you know side of page decoration <laughs> stay there get them there to, to dry off and where's that paper mm. i don't have an answer for that I was going to put this underneath so we've got that blue um, shining through. So if I place this on there, I'm going to put the glue down the sides and then you won't see, see it through that lace. On the paper. That's it. And we've got a second and, and cut round it. And then I'll pop that into the into the middle. Oh, lovely. These wax seals are from Topology, and I do have a coupon code for them in my description. I'm wondering about that, just, oh I like that. So we'll stick that on in a sec. Let's cut, cut this out. And I say, I've only got the most tiniest bit of glue on my fingers. So I'm guessing everybody else is busy uh, too. I say I'm not worried too much about you know not putting a lot of videos on because they're not getting a lot of views at the minute because obviously everybody's busy, 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 busy. And I'm guessing you know some people have gone away, um, you know maybe off visiting family members and and things like that. So that's that. Let's say that's middle-ish. We'll put a biggish blob. And a little. I'm just gonna be a bit careless or <laughs> carefree. <laughs> uh, bobbing bobbing that down. And which way? I think the camera's up a little bit too too close some of you might appreciate that and some of you might drive you potty okay 
Okay, that's lovely. Always remind me of a watch. A nice bracelet. Okay, so that's another one. And then I'd got those two photos. Now, I've done this kind of thing before. Um, I've not done it for, for a while. I can remember doing it with the gentleman's cat. So, and when I went to, um, I was going to say Windsor Castle, I've not been to Windsor Castle, um, Warwick Castle, it reminded me of it again. So, I've just halved my string, I'm just going to stick that down just to keep it there. So, this is going to be like one of those, um, you know, picture picture rails, picture, picture somethings, so that would go there, but I'm going to do it like so, and let's put her there, the string could have done with being a bit longer, but this was, you know, just a, a leftover from something, so just to use that okay that'd be fine wouldn't it right so I'm going to use the, the tape cut that little bit off Could have them obviously dead, dead straight, but um, I'm kind of liking it as if you know they've been hung a long time and maybe even in an abandoned castle and they're just still hanging on the wall. See if I can just trim trim that off. That's that. <laughs> just take take that off without cutting through through the string. Hopefully. Yep. So when I stick this down, I might put a brad or something. Uh, at the top and then that will hang down the page love that <laughs> so that's that I don't know if I think that was all I'd come come back to do because I think we used all the photos um, <clears throat> I know I did want a few more um, tiny things so let's just cut we'll cut some of this down and just do do a couple so that's that have a two in white as well Move this. There we go. Right, let's think what we're going to have <coughs> um, on them. Yep. So, I feel like I ought to save that for the cover um, somewhere. So, I'm going to pop that in, in the kind of done embellishment so I don't, don't use that. So we'll definitely have one of these on. 
Oh, one of them. <laughs> well, I'll put one of these on. One of them. Like that. Cut off. It's a little bit too big. Still got a blue ribbon. like to do one with them. I think that would be nice for the cover as well because it's quite unusual that shape. Look at that. I'm going to save that for the cover. <laughs> but if you don't don't think about the, you know, I might not use them but um, yeah many a time I've you know made a journal and then thought oh I've used all the best stuff. Um, I've got nothing for me cover. So that'd probably be nice on, on there. Yeah. I'm going to probably have two of those on there. That's a lot. It's a bit bigger, isn't it? Let's do that. It's kind of there. So I'll have a button. I'd have that, that juice, layers up, and then that button. Yeah, let's do that. And that is, you know, most of the things use that I first put put on the desk. So that's um, good. Right. So we'll want some some of that. I might want a bit of this blue lace. I don't think you'll want that. Maybe you'll want some of that. Yeah, and we've nearly used, you know, the things that we'd, um, the material and stuff that I'd got out originally as well. So that's good. That. I think I'll have some of that blue under that Oop. button. I like that. It's a smaller bit, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's one. <laughs> oh, let's do that. that could do with going on something something else but that's not any wider than that is it <coughs> nope mm. oh, I've left some of it attached look Two of
There we go. It's a little bit like a, a cluster. I don't know where my glue's gone. <laughs> one's done. It's a lot on that one, a lot like on there. layer there then that then that <laughs> yeah like those so I'll glue those off off screen um because <coughs> it's just a bit of a dob 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 isn't it so I'll have a few more little clusters we've got those we've got as pictures what we've just dump. Can't wait to, to come back with some, um, you know, um, postcards and envelopes and things and and decorate. And then we've got his for either the front of the journal or the spine. And we've got these little um, like neck neck pieces they, yeah they do remind me of what you'd wear wear around your neck okay so that's um gonna be the video uh which will go up today because it's now uh friday and um yeah i'm gonna sit sit now and uh film the one for tomorrow so i shall get some papers out and things and we'll start start decorating so thank you uh, for joining me and um yeah i hope you're all keeping keeping well and um keeping the stress levels down as um we are running around like um headless chickens <laughs> okay then i shall see you tomorrow bye for now